So guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here. Uh, welcome to Radko Tarot, and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini, Gemini Rising, uh, weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards, once again, I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general read for Gemini star sign, and for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate with every single one of you in a, a different level and in a different way. And for that reason, in this video, I will uh, try my best to uh, explain you oops, the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But uh, ultimately, at the end, to get better results, uh, you will have to align it to your personal uh, situation to make the read a little bit more personal. However, if you want uh, a personal touch and you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, uh, that is a subject of a uh, private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're gonna find, on the very first page of it, uh, you're gonna find full list of my services as well as their pricing. That set aside, going to the general reading for Gemini star sign here, the first card for you, which is the topic of the week, that is going to be the Ten of Cups, and we are having a fantastic start for what it seems. The second card, which is the um, negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Five of Swords. Uh, the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation here, so we have the um, emperor and the last card which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot this is going to be the eight of pentacles so once again ten of cups it is the first card followed by the uh, five of swords second emperor third and the um, eight of pentacles it's the fourth card so, uh, Gemini's, it does look like, guys, that this week you are doomed to have a good time. Uh, I do suspect, looking at these cards, that you are going to be placed on a leadership position one way or another, relationship-wise or career-wise, it does not really matter here. But uh, you will have to as well, um, it's not a cooperation, but more like a, you will interact with a lot of people which is completely optional, but is going to serve you a, a great, great way, if you do it right, that is. And how is, what is the right way to do, uh, to do this uh, interactions? We are going to get into that in this reading. But the first card here, which is the Ten of Cups, it does point that you are going to have a, a very, very good time throughout the week, and you're going to feel yourself on the top of the world should I say it's kind of like um, you are going to be pleased with your achievements and as well it is likely that you're going to find yourself in a very very good place regarding relationship wise but the ten of cups is that it does point that throughout this week either slowly developing or all of a sudden your life is going to start worth living again or rather like it's going to take an exponential height it's going to improve itself better this could uh, mark the uh, success into one project, establishing into one relationship, or just, you know, proceed on the next level into one existing relationship. But whatever the result of that is, guys, is that you are going to, how can I place it? Uh, you're going to place yourself higher in the, uh, in the ladder of the society, the hierarchy of the society, or the hierarchy of your job as well. And you're going to feel very, very comfortable and very, very protective as well. Because we, basically, when we do have the Ten of Cups, as a uh, topic of one's week, it means that the subject of this card, it is deprived from issues and problems, plights. Even if there are such, they are going to be just passing by you, okay? At least for the duration of the week. The additional card here, that is the uh, Nine of Pentacles, and uh, the formation is passive uh, passive friends, excuse me. So all this is going to give you a, a prerequisite to establish new conquest for your for your behalf. Your relationships, regardless of these relationships, are going to be friendship type of relationships. Re relationships, 
romantic relationships or whatever, they are going to give you huge amounts of, con of content and uh, as well exhilaration, joy, not to mention that with these cards you can be very successful into one business, material gains and so on and so forth. Generally, this week is going to be extremely, extremely potent and good week for you, Geminis, and uh, it is a week where you can capitalize on your current means to truly maximize your benefits either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Looking at these cards, uh, just if I have to give you a practical uh, guidance by them, I would say that you are sitting on a very solid foundations right now. You do have your back supported and it will be a good time throughout the week to think of your next conquest, of your next um, agenda or rather like aim, goal and uh, you name it. But uh, what is the next card, guys? The next card that is to be the five of swords or how you should not take upon the situation. Now, first thing, very personal interpretation is that sometimes it is best to bail out and not to lead a battle instead of, you know, winning at all costs. Basically, with the Five of Swords here, you need to know when to start a war and when to start a battle or when to chase something because the, um, the heroic warrior, it's kind of like, uh, well, I will place it that way, the heroic warrior fights every battle presented and the heroic warrior dies young because you know one of the battles he involves himself in is doing from heroism and not because he can win now the true warrior however carefully chooses his battles and chooses only those battles that he is a hundred percent secure that he can win and from the rest he runs away to live and fight another day that is the motto that you should incorporate throughout this week so for example uh, your boss approach you uh, approaches you with a, this difficult difficult project that uh, you cannot even comprehend you know how can be uh, how can be succeeded on then that should be a, a, a clean uh, red flag that you should not take that project just so you can kind of like you know impress your boss with your boldness to to take such a, a difficult task same thing goes regarding relationships and so on and so forth now on a more uh, abstract level of interpretation the card means that because you are going to have a very good positions throughout the week, that may tempt you a big way to oppress your power. Meaning of that you can start, you know, humiliating people around without you even knowing it. And recently I read this uh, sentence and it's a, a very good one actually. It does says that you should not be rude and abusive to the people that you meet uh, along the way you climb to the crest of your goals or to your heights because you're going to meet them or you're going to have to face them on your way back. So that being said, when you interact with someone regarding, regardless if this is going to be into your social circle or career wise, with this card sitting into a negative position, guys, you need to know that a little kindness, kindness, excuse me, is going to go for a, a long, long way especially those who are in a leadership position straight away. So you're a supervisor, you're a boss, you do own a private business and so on and so forth. Just because, you know, you have the means, it doesn't mean that you can uh, bully people around. And it is what that card is all about. Do not humiliate those people that you may kind of need to rely further down the road. And also the card asks you to have a little bit of a... How can I place it? Uh, whatever you do throughout the week, you need to breathe a huge sense of reliability into everybody that you interact with. The additional card here, Gemini, is this is going to be the Nine of Wands, and we do have active friends. Uh, it kind of likes, uh, this card is a confirmation that you are going to be much more experienced in general and um, much more confident than those that you are interacting yourself with. Just to give you an example, uh, let's say that you are dating with somebody who is a little bit of a hesitant, it's, it's uh, 
not very initiative, you know, afraid not to make something stupid and so on and so forth. And because you are kind of like more, uh, more confident with your capabilities and uh, basically more open, I don't know how to say it in English, all right, but uh, that does not give you the right to mock that person out, all right? So basically be compassionate, be uh, show solidarity into your interactions with people around and the very, very uh, best of the interpretation is choose carefully your battles. Because with the nine of wands here into this uh, catalyst place, it means that even if the battle looks very difficult, you will have the opportunity to rearrange some circumstances around that battle, either career or relationship wise, which is which is going to give you a the upper hand into it. Just do not be irrational, uh, reckless, and as well premature when in, when it comes jumping into. Um, contests and as well enterprises. As we said, you're going to be in a very, very good spot this week and you do have the luxury to wait for the right moment and for the right timing. As a matter of fact, looking at these cards, I would not recommend anybody to, in, to involve into a, a new enterprises until the plan for how uh, one is going to involve it's, uh, himself into those en enterprises is solidified to its best variation. Uh, <clears throat> that is because uh, you do, as I said, have the means and on top of that with the Ten of Cups it does look like that you will you will not have to experience any difficulties. Not only and you are going to experience difficulties only if you invest yourself into those difficulties. Alright so you don't have to deal with bullshits. The only way you deal with bullshits throughout the week is if you involve yourself into those bullshits. Now, the next card for you, Gemini's, which is the, um, the positive approach toward the situation. This is going to be the Emperor card. And first of all, you need to show, like we said with the previous couple of cards, huge amounts of reliability. Basically, you got to present yourself very, very reliable towards your partner into career, uh, into relationship, excuse me, towards your boss into your career. And also with this card, you got to show, present yourself very strong and capable to the team that you are leading, should you be a team leader very responsible person you have to be very responsible be whatever you do basically throughout the week you need to be um, ready to take a responsibility for its consequences and also with the uh, emperor card this week is going to be best faced if you place or exert structure into your um, into your plan and into your daily routine meaning of that you move according to a to-go list all right you are not hectic you are not scampering around you are not playful but instead very consistent systematic and meticulous regarding your performance either career once again or either, or either relationship wise doing so is going to allow you to have much more personal freedom. Now, as a matter of fact, with this card, it is likely that as soon as you sort your things out into one solid plan and into one solid, solid, you know, chain of events that you have to incorporate yourself in, you are going to discover that you do have much more time for yourself than you initially had. It is because, you know, probably beforehand, you were a little bit, you know, kind of like, playful, more playful than you should have been. And on top of that, uh, this card points that should you sort your things out and kind of takes one thing at the time, being more reliable and responsible toward the matters, toward your partner into your relationship and toward your projects and people into the career wise, uh, then you will be able to face your ups and downs with much more ease than before. The daily is ups and downs much more uh, with much more ease than before. Meaning of that, uh, you uh, meaning of that you are going to uh, leave close to none room for shenanigans and unpleasant surprises, career or relationship wise. The catalyst card here, this is going to be the king of uh, pentacles. And what we have is active neutrals. And literally what the, this card here points 
is that uh, at such a high place that you are in right now, you are the one who needs to exert confidence, not the others, all right? So when you demand something to be done, uh, when you expect people to act regarding you know your criteria you need to serve as an example what i mean is that i will give you an example here uh my mother is a uh, magister into bulgarian language and literature and what she told me is that if you give a, a test to students or um, pupils or you name it you give that that test to be performed performed for 40 minutes but you need to be capable to do it for 10 minutes all right so you gotta be much better of these people that you request something from than them okay so this is the leadership not the boss ship if i may express it that way only one boss uh kind of like demands things that he cannot do the leader always can perform better than his subordinates so uh, having these couple of cards, uh, people are going to basically what they point is that you should not rely on people. People should rely on you. OK, so that's why you got to present yourself strong, capable and always being ready to face difficulties and to resolve those difficulties instead of being afraid to act, instead of being afraid to basically um, take on the initiative. And once again, to do so, you got to first thoroughly think it over instead of being frantic about it. So um, just to summarize that, Gemini's, uh, it does look like a, a very either lucrative week or a very uh, emotionally, a, a week of a big emotional abundance, which, you know, you should not brag about, but, in, but, but instead systemize and, and, and bring structure into it because otherwise it could be just uh, short lasting okay so so for example just to give you an example here let's say that you start dating with the man of your dreams or with the woman of your dreams and now instead of uh, bragging all around at how beautiful person you are dating with and how no one else can you know uh, achieve such a thing instead of focusing you know on displaying your um, your fortune uh, in front of others, it would be best focusing on on solidifying on it, you know, making sure that this person is not going to go away and these kind of stuff. That is just, you know, a one example of um, relationship type of situation. Uh, talking, for example, career, uh, you can, you are going to have a good progress regarding a, um, a project of yours throughout this week and instead of bragging about that only you could do it and how everybody else it's um, it's worthless and so on and so forth instead of that you know just display how you did it and allow people to learn from your uh, from your good performance uh, and that way uh, you're going to attract a lot of followers and it's uh, it's kind of like very possible that you are going to be assigned as a team leader as well. Should you show capability once again to structure uh, the task into a, a solid and consistent plan? And as well, are you capable to take responsibilities, not just for your actions, but as well for the actions of the team? Because supervisor and a team leader need to have that quality to take responsibilities for the actions of the team and the last card that we do have here is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot meaning of which that instead of bragging about you know and oppressing people around based on your good fortune instead of that you know focusing on solidifying it then the eight of pentacles points that you will be able to sort everything out there to the minor and finest detail meaning of that you're going to have that eye for the subtleties and uh, on top of that this plan is going to start bringing fruits that is what the card points because the eight of pentacles is pentacles it's about that something to something which took a long time to develop now is brought to fruition so at the very end of the week the plan that you have uh, created regard, regarding your current good fortune is now is going to start show effectiveness 
And also, uh, this card is a, is a sign that the ups and downs you are facing throughout the week are going to uh, become m more and more easier than before to a point where it doesn't look like that you are going to be surprised, unpleasantly surprised from many things around. Once again, because you took every precautionary measure to uh, diminish the... Um, the chance to experience um, poignant events in your future, at least regarding this, uh, this agenda and as well uh, this enterprise that you are going to exert your plan upon. Uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the King of Swords and what these cards are forming, that is passive enemies. And uh, <clears throat> basically with the King of Swords, you should re maintain your humbleness and your resignation, you know, and keep in mind that there is no such thing as an irreplaceable person. You can't be replaced should you start becoming cocky and should you, uh, how can I place it, think of yourself as an almighty. This uh, king here is a, um, a warning that you should not drop off your performance and you should always know that regardless of how good you are into something in this world, there is always someone else that is better than you. That is That concerns everybody and regards to everything we do. So yeah, maintain your humbleness here, Gemini. Uh, keep doing what you're doing because it does look like that is gonna bring fruition, you know, but do not overestimate yourself, be, um, gentle with the people around you, especially those who are not showing great amounts of capability as well. Be a support of them instead of being uh, what you call it, bully. And uh, avoid humiliating others <clears throat> just because you know you are more successful than them. Because as I said, now you're climbing the heights of your, um, of your life and you are going to face those people on your way back and you want them to support you instead of having a grudge, uh, a grudge towards you. But nonetheless, Gemini's, I could say here that uh, if you are uh, misfortunate, either regarding career or relationship wise, it's going to be a a week of a huge breakthrough, especially if you are single and uh, you are feeling this loneliness to touch you in a very, very bad way. It's going to be a good thing uh, going out and start dating with people. And by the way, with these cards, the person that you are looking for is already around. It's most likely somewhere in your social circle. You have already, you know, had a couple of drinks here and there. And just you need to look around yourself and see, uh, present yourself as a, a very serious person, someone that wants to seriously start a relationship. And this one that it is around you is going to step out and it all comes to that, how reliable you are going to present yourself to uh, start initiating on this plan to develop a, a relationship. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for a uh, Gemini star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and level for every single different Gemini's. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, that is a subject for uh, of a, a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find on the very first page uh, the full list of my services and as well their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.